Smite on Linux. Thought you'd never hear those words, huh? Earlier this morning, as of January 29th, 2022, there was a little update to the Steam Depot for Smite that included a few files. Files necessary for EAC to function in Proton, at least as per Valve's documentation. So did I really play a round of Smite just for a YouTube video? Yes I did. Did I win? I did. Would I play on my Steam Deck? Maybe I will. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and join my Discord server in the description below. Just so that there's no smoke and mirrors or anything of the sort, here's me exiting the game to show you that I am in fact running this on Linux. I also went 5-5 five and five in 22. It's not the best score, but I didn't really go negative, so... Good news! You can actually play the game. You can actually get into a run. You can actually play with some people. However, running Smite requires a little Proton GE magic. And that's because video files in Smite use Windows Media Foundation, a codec system that's Windows proprietary. It's got the same issue that Persona 4 has, preventing it from being not only a verified game, but also not even a playable game. The good news is that developers can fix this. So why is this exciting, even though this uses Proton GE? Well, it's because Smite didn't work on Proton GE either. Anti-cheat games were totally borked. No version of Proton would be allowed to play anti-cheat games until now. And I'm playing with and against real people here. The game is quite stuttery when you get started and when you haven't played a round before, but it's to my understanding that this is because of background shader caching due to Vulcan, something that's just bound to happen on all games with Vulcan. The hope is that with the Steam Deck, all Steam Deck SKUs are identical except for, well, your internal SSD. These can all make use of the same shaders, so Valve can just have us download shaders onto our Steam Deck units instead of using our computing power to, you know, generate shaders. So towards the end of this one round I played today, Smite stopped stuttering heavily. That said, Smite will probably continue to stutter every now and then until I've played quite a few games on Linux, that is. That said, Smite isn't the only anti-cheat game out there, nor is it the most popular. But there's a nifty website called AreWeAntiCheatYet.com that tells you what games use what anti-cheats, and if they're supported in Proton or not. The hope is that this list will in fact become fully compatible with Proton. The hope is that Smite and other anti-cheat games that become Proton supported, well, usher in a new age of Linux gaming. Are you Linux people ready to play some anti-cheat games with your Windows brethren? Or are you ready to dominate them? I, for one, am ready to dominate all players on all platforms in all sorts of games. Because I'm no ordinary games journalist, nor am I an ordinary tech YouTuber.